And in your question, you mentioned that how, what about organizations like ISIS? What is the full form of ISIS? Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. Now, what we are doing, the media is maligning Islam. We are aware of that. Unfortunately, many of us Muslims ignorantly are also maligning, maligning Islam. I'm asking a question. If I say, I am the president of USA, will you go and tell that the president of USA came to my school? Will you say that? If I say, I am a president of USA, will the media go and report that the president of USA gave a talk in your school? Yes or no? The answer is, no. Why? Because you know I'm not the president. Correct? You will say some lunatic came and told you the president. You will not say the president of America came to Malaysia in your school. Correct? Because you know that I am not the president of USA. Correct? So when this organization is calling itself to be the Islamic State, do you think they're Islamic? So why are you repeating? Why are you repeating Islamic State of Iraq and Syria? You should say anti-Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. We ignorantly, we ignorantly and innocently are promoting them. When we know they are not Islamic, they are killing innocent human beings. Quran says in Surah Maida, chapter 5, verse number 32, that if anyone kills any other innocent human being, it is as though he has killed the whole of humanity. And if he saves one innocent human being, he has saved the whole world. When we know, how can Quran be for terrorism? Impossible. There is not a single verse in any other scripture as close to as the Quran in Surah Maida, chapter 5, verse 32. So, so we give in our newspaper, in Muslim newspaper, ISIS killed innocent, innocent Europeans. How can a Muslim kill an innocent human being? What we should say? A ISIS, anti-Islamic state of Iraq and Syria. So next time when you ask a question, tell that how these anti-Islamic state of Iraq and Syria are doing these wrong things. No problem. So we should not unintentionally and ignorantly promote the wrong things. Correct? So we are playing into the hands of the enemies of Islam. These enemies of Islam are creating all this nonsense. You know, war for peace, war on war for peace. It is not war for peace, it is war on peace. Peace, Salam. Religion of Islam is peace. Religion of Islam is peace. They are not doing war for peace. They are doing war on peace, on Islam. I would like to end the answer by giving the quotation of Adam Pearson. Dr. Adam Pearson said that people who worry that one day nuclear weaponry will fall in the hands of the Arabs, they fail to realize that the Islamic bomb, the bomb of peace, has already been dropped. It fell the day Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was born. Hope that answers the question. Yes, can we have the last question, please?